So like you see, there's numbers all the way around it. These numbers represent a position on a clock face. So number 12 and number 6 is basically the straight putt. So 12 would be putting straight downhill, 6 would be putting straight uphill. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find where the straight putt is. So obviously I think if water was going to flow downhill here, I think I would probably put it in this position here. There's 12 and 6. And from about 10 feet, I'm going to go and I'm going to hit this putt just to see. So pretty good, managed to get it. Now, using the clock face, we're going to try to understand how the ball breaks as it's moving around the hole. So obviously 12 and 6 was straight, so that's an easy one. Maybe we'll try 9 o'clock. So from 10 feet, how much break does 9 o'clock have? Quite a bit on this one. So that's probably a good two cups out. So from here I can actually start to understand how much break. Maybe I come up to 11. So 11 is very close to 12 and we said before 12 and 6 is a straight putt. I'm at 11 here from 10 feet. So I'm probably going to aim this just a little bit inside left edge here. Probably hit it a little hard there but that should have broke just a little bit. But the whole idea of this here is to work your way around the clock face and start to understand how much break there is at different numbers. So whenever you get out on the golf course, you might find, hey boy, I putt so good here if I'm in six, five, six, and seven on the numbers. So my goal should be to get myself on the low end of the hole every time so that I have a much easier putt. Often people don't realize that 10 and two when you're doing this has actually got the most amount of break and it's the hardest putt to make. So if you've been out in the golf course and you've left yourself all these big sliders and you haven't made many, there's a reason. It's actually a more difficult putt. So use the disc, find the easiest putts, and help train yourself to some better golf. <laughs>